everyone so welcome back to my new video and today I want us to be a bit more well as I already am colorful again with this eye makeup look um today I was thinking you know what I think I want to do a bit of a galaxy kind of look you know, like blue because I don't haven't really worked with the color blue in any of my looks so I'm like you know I just want to throw some blue in there and I do want to take them both from either my Coastal Scents um, Hot Pots, as you already know. These are all my colors. And I have a nice good selection of blues right here in the corner. And also, I, and I also wanted to go through a little bit with my BH Party Girl After Hours palette from BH Cosmetics, as you already know. I've been using okay so as you already know uh, my skin has been freaking out so much lately and I hope you don't hear my fan because I have it right here because this ring light gets really hot when I'm recording so it kind of you know like sucks the cool air all out of the room so I have my little fan going on um, to keep me cool while I'm doing this so yes um, but like I would say, my skin has been going a little crazy uh, lately. I feel like it's because my overconsumption of dairy lately, which I've heard is like such a big thing, well, a big no-no to honestly do is drink, a, consume a lot of dairy. Tons of water. Soju? Okay, so yes. Um, now let's just get into the look. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with my uh, Bath & Body Works Pure Simplicity Rose Water Face and Body Refresher. And remember, I already did um, a video about this alcohol free and it's hypoallergenic. So I'm just going to spread it on my face, you know, to kind of tone it up because um, rose water is a natural astringent that um, brightens up your face. And I need a lot of that because my face has been looking dull when I tell you. Okay, so I'm just going to. Move my head wrap back, you know, to make sure I get my makeup up here as well. And I also uh, use a bit of Jamaican black castor oil with a bit of coconut in it to um, kind of lubricate my skin to make it, you know, nice and easy to put my makeup on. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Pomade. In I'm going to using a bit of my Urban Decay, uh, the Eden Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is my favorite one. And a little does go a long way with this. So I'm just going to put it on my lid. Well, I know I'm going to be having the most color until I blend out into my crease. Yes. I'm going to go in with this nice medium brown from the palette. I'm going to use this color right here. It's already on my brush. Okay. Alright, so now that I use this brown shadow to kind of, you know, warm up my crease, where the color is not going to be like going too much there. I'm just going to wet it just a bit, not a lot, there. The color on my brush that I'm using, with that color. So I'm going to kind of paint it on there first, so the liquid from the brush can kind of like set it in there. I'm going to do it for the other eye. Okay, I'm just going to paint it on the lid.
I'm going to close that up because I'm almost done with that shadow. Now I'm going to go back over it again with this brown shade, the first shade that I used. And I'm going to go over my crease to kind of lighten that up. I'm going to do like a windshield wiper motion. Now I'm going to go in with a bit of this purple shade from the BH Cosmetics palette. I'm going to be using this shade right here from the palette. I'm going to be using my flat brush. It's like a flat head brush. Nice and thin. Boom. Now this I'm going to overly spray with MAC Fix Plus so it really takes form of the color. And I'm going to paint it on the center of the lid. And the colors I did use um, from this palette of my Coastal Hot Pots for the blue shade that I used was, was this one right here. If you want to recreate this look, it is Brandeis Blue, and this is one of my favorite blues of them all. There we go. I used this shade of purple right here in this little four section. I used this one at the top for the purple that's in the center of my lid. Now let me put on some mascara. And I'm using, of course, my favorite Rimmel London Wonder Lash that I've always been using. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Kick-Ass Soap and Glory under my eyes. Okay. And it's like for a brightener. It helps um, brighten up your skin. I'm gonna use a little bit of the of the primer, the blur primer, which I have to buy some more because I'm running low. Sadly, I purchased this one from Target when um, Soap and Goy first started, you know, like promoting off their products there. I'm talking like the first first week I seen this, I I was like, oh no, gotta have it. Don't even play me using this primer I was using um my L'Oreal Magic Gloomy which I do use a little bit of right now yeah I'll use a little bit on here let that sit for a little bit there we go now, I use this brush to kind of like pre put my concealer and then I go in with my 56 Pro Flawless Airbrush with the rest of the concealer. And I do my jaw. And then I go back up here and blend everything together so it has like a nice, you know, 
good just flow. Do that. As you can see, like you know, a lot of other makeup artists they really carve out their brows. I don't really do that. Now I'm gonna go a little bit of this banana color and just tap it here and blend it with my other concealer to kind of brighten up my under eyes. And what I love the most about Anastasia's concealers is that they don't get chalky. So it's like you could put on a lot and you don't get that cake face look, which I love the most. Because like they blend well with like everything. Okay. Okay, so this is like the step two of kind of like, you know, what I do. And then of course, the step three will be going in with the powder contour and setting my makeup. Okay, and I'm using my BH Cosmetics powder brush. Powder contour and I'm going to use the lightest shade. I like to mix it with the other shade too. And go over my makeup. To kind of reduce the bit of shine. Because I don't really like my skin to be shiny. Because I do have like combination skin. So it gets like a bit shiny sometimes during the day. That's why I use like powder to kind of just set all that out. I hate like my face to get oily. That's like the number one thing that pisses me off. My face gets oily. So that's why I like to use the also the Urban Decay um, mattifying um, setting spray so I don't have to worry about my face getting oily during the day because it's like I already feel like a grease ball and like I don't need to feel like it more so yeah okay now I got that preset and I'm going to go in with my foundation now to kind of blur everything out. I'm gonna take the same powder brush and use a bit of the highlight shade. Cause I want something subtle. There we go, let's see. I usually don't use this too much, this highlight shade. But something light and subtle, I'll use it for that. I like my highlight to cover like the joy of my cheekbones. Okay. Let's see. Fan brush and just you know blend that up a bit. Doesn't feel right to not use this brush. blend it up that's why I love this brush I use the middle of it to blend and then I used the end of it to like brush it up I love this brush and this brush is from BH cosmetics by the way I love how beautiful and thick it is look how thick those bristles are like, this brush is amazing from BH cosmetics it came in the 36 uh, piece brush set okay so now I'm gonna go with my Mac fix plus and to set my makeup
So now let's skip to the montage.